Uh, I wanted to talk about this, the rant story. I'm Japanese who grew up poor and homeless in Japan. This is from uh, yesterday. Sorry for the upcoming trauma dump, but I just really need to get this off my chef. I'm half Filipino, half Japanese. I was born and raised in Japan to low middle class family. Um, my dad was an office worker. And my mom was a bar singer who migrated to Japan as a japayuki, a slang for Filipino entertainers who moved to Japan during the 80s economic bubble. And this is a sad story, uh, but, you know, I think it's important to address it. There were some misconceptions, but it's also very informative. My mom became the breadwinner. When my dad died suddenly of a heart attack, my mom became the breadwinner out of the blue. At the time of his death, my mom was pregnant and wasn't working. My parents were married, but my mother wasn't a Japanese citizen yet and was only a permanent resident status. She couldn't find a job because she was pregnant. Companies often don't hire women for this reason and also hates giving out pregnancy compensation. And because she was Filipino, companies often do not employ immigrants in high-earning positions. I was working part-time jobs while in school to help my mom. We had to move up out eventually out of the apartment because we didn't want to waste our savings on the rent. We were basically homeless and was jumping to one friend relative to another as temporary shelter and staying in cheap hotels or short-term rentals. This is something that I also talked about in Japan when I was in the Japanese uh, trip as well, called manga cafes, as Connor brought up. Um, sometimes the homelessness in Japan is invisible. And by that, I mean, they are not on the street, but they get to find like cheap accommodations and, and, uh, you know, stay in manga cafes and stuff like that. Um, there was even one night me and my little uh, brother had to stay in a CD love hotel because my mom had an interview the next day in a hotel nearby and she needed to look fresh and presentable in the morning. She didn't get the job. There was one point where we had no money. My mom was still too prideful to panhandle. And even if she was, she'd get arrested immediately anyway. We resorted to borrowing money from relatives, friends, ex-co-workers just so we can stay in a warm room for the night. We couldn't rent cheap apartment rooms because we wouldn't. We would need shikikin, safety deposit, and reikin. I don't know how to explain this, but it's like a tip to the landlord. What the f***? You have to tip the landlord? Reikin is also known as key money? Yo, Japan is awesome, different. Also, renewal association fees, and we simply didn't have enough money for those. My grand aunt and grand uncle on my father's side who lived in Sendai quite far from Tokyo suddenly contacted us on Facebook and luckily invited us to stay at their house. It was a small townhouse so we felt bad staying there. They were quite old 85 to 89 years old at the time and we just didn't want to bother them so we planned on moving out as soon as we can. My mom and I had a harder time looking for jobs so we eventually moved to Chiba outskirts of Tokyo also because my mom wanted me to go to a university in Tokyo so I could live in a free dorm that comes from a scholarship foundation that way we wouldn't be jumping from one shelter to another. I only studied for one year in Tokyo, then moved to the Philippines to finish my university studies, then to the UK where my mom got employed as a nurse because I just wasn't able to keep up with the studies while working, and I also didn't want my mom to work herself to death just so she could pay my tuition. For many years until my high school graduation, we were homeless and under the poverty line. Words you don't often see associated with Japan. On the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell we were poor and homeless. We still dress presentable when we go outside, and Asan was right about the clean public washrooms that we took advantage of. We would have government aid, but because my mom was not a citizen, we received a very small amount from a nonprofit organization. There were times when the uh, Tokyo Tocho, the to local government unit of Tokyo, gave us hotel rooms to stay in, especially during cold months. But they are, of course, temporary. We can even work on our citizenship naturalization requirements because she no longer can. She would need a decent job and a permanent address. My mom, even though she was well-educated, had a degree in nursing, could speak fluent English, Tagalog, and Hokkien, Chinese dialect, and Japanese, couldn't get a decent job because she was an immigrant, a woman, and a single mom. She worked two jobs as a factory worker and hotel housekeeping until we moved out of the country. Just because it looks like everything in Japan doesn't uh, works doesn't mean the people there aren't tired. Did I also mention that my dad died because of overworking? My dad loved this job only because Japan makes you believe that your worth is based on your work. If he wasn't overworking, he was seen as lazy and worthless. The only time I could see him was at night when he gets home at 10 p.m., even though his work allows him to leave at 6 p.m. He would always bring me chocolates from Famima Chicken or Famimart Chicken as compensation because he barely had time to sp uh, barely had time to spend with me. Anyway, I'm very, very sorry for the lengthy trauma dump. I was kind of upset when Hassan picked out my chat message in history while Chad was calling me an American defending America copium just because I pointed out the mistakes in Hassan's rose-colored view of Japan and criticized the viewpoints, and I get dogpiled by Chad in return. I love this community, so being ridiculed by them is hurtful, honestly. So um, one of the misconceptions is that I don't think that Japan is free of any sort of issues. Who dogpiled them? People do it all the time in chat, which is why we yell at chatters who do it all the time. Okay. Hassan and his friends' perspective are all from a privileged Western lens. He's only been in the tourist parts of Tokyo, and he still talked over my points with overconfidence, assuming that I didn't know what I was talking about. I know Japanese statistics online are wrong. I've literally seen local news in Osaka and volunteers who handed out a total of 20,000 sleeping bags to the homeless, and I personally stayed for a short time in a homeless park. I've always been a big fan of Hassan, and I love his content, but I'll take a break from watching him now. Again, sorry for the rant. Just wanted to say thank you for the kind messages, but also kind of I ruined your day. I'm listening. I'm also going to maybe stop replying to the comments because now it's making me anxious. Thank you for listening to my story. Oi, bruv, country in Swagapino land, Hassan.
and her family's uh, family's doing well. I feel like you kind of addressed this in the last podcast episode. I did, and I have talked about it a lot because when I'm talking about the homelessness uh, issue in and of itself uh, in Japan, it is a comparison to the lack of amenities afforded to homeless people in the United States of America. Now, that doesn't mean that like the Japanese homelessness is not like a legitimate issue, a legitimate crisis. I even saw the political compass page on IG on you for it. What? Why do you follow the political compass page on Instagram? Anyway, I remember you saying several times during the Japan trip that Japan was not perfect and they do have homelessness. It's just hidden like you said. No, I remember the argument that we had, which was this person saying that uh, homelessness in Japan numbers wise was so much more severe. And I said, the official numbers are 3,800 in comparison to the United States' numbers. Even if they are undercounting by 10x in comparison to the U.S. population, like, it's still dramatically, dramatically lower, right? That's that's all I was saying. And I think that because it's a traumatic experience, this person's, like, lived experience is very traumatic and, uh, you know, compiled with the chat dogpiling that's occurring, it it made it seem like I was undermining their, their position. I mean... They're definitely undercounting. Uh, worse, he's on the Hassan Piker subreddit. Dude, what do you mean? This is like informative as f What are you talking about? But the net po percentage matters. Population of US versus Japan. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Per capita. Per capita homelessness is still dramatically higher in the United States of America in comparison to somewhere like Japan. It's not... This doesn't mean that like uh, Japanese people do not have a homelessness problem. This video is not available anymore. What the f but the reason why I wanted to, they were arguing stats were deceptive. You were arguing that the diff, about the difference regardless of the deception. Exactly. Everyone needs to calm down. Okay. The reason why I read this is because it's very informative. Okay. There were even comments in Japanese. No idea what happened there. Also, they still talk about having access to showers and help, which a lot of people don't have being homeless in other countries. Still doesn't mean as in, uh, is good in Japan as a homeless person. Yes. Okay. That's the reason why I read this. Do you have anything to say to the chatter in particular? I mean, a bit, a couple of nice words would make them feel better. I mean, I hope they're still watching. I hope they didn't stop watching because of that. And I'm sorry that it came across like I was undermining your perspective. I was not. I wasn't trying to, but I apologize. Bro, this says the video isn't available anymore. It's a huge difference being a tourist for several days in Tokyo from actually living, working in Japan for a longer time. Yes. Not only that, but also... I mean, Japan also has, like, genuine uh, problems with xenophobia, genuine problems with, like, undermining sexual harassment. In Japan, as I talked about in the podcast, that it is a hyper-capitalist dystopia in many respects. It's just that in comparison to the United States of America, where people are overworked at higher levels than... This. Uh, overworked at higher levels than mother Japan and have a higher rate of... Than mother Japan. It's weird to see it. It's weird to see how things work. Do you understand? You might hardly see homeless people rising in Tokyo, but it's been more and more obvious for the people supporting those in need. This organization, Teno Hashi, regularly provides food, necessities, and consulting service for the people in poverty. And they've seen such a big increase of the number, and also demographic change. They've got way more young people and women coming there. ま、昔はそんなね、若者のまず Look, this, this is, Japan is a pretty high rate, which can be attributed to their intense working culture. America has a worse work culture in comparison to Japan. America has a higher suicide rate per capita, a higher number of per capita in comparison to Japan. The difference for with is just one point marginal, fair. But understand, when I'm making a comparison between Japan and America, this comparison revolves around how shitty America is, not necessarily how great Japan is. We went over this two days ago. People that say this are operating off of old stereotypes. Mm.
心の傷を深めるとそういったケースはいっぱいありますやる気よりもっとすごい力えな,なんかなんか起き上がれないんですよねなんか何にもできなくなる。日本は今、パンデミック。That was my point. The United States also has invisible homelessness in the same way that the chatter described her own perspective. This is something I've talked about a lot. And if you have visible homelessness, that means you have so much more invisible homelessness. The only difference is, from what I understand, given、uh, the, I guess, Japanese proclivity towards like wanting to. The stages of homelessness is something I've discussed many, many times. When I originally said it's crazy how low the percentage of Homelessness is okay in Japan in comparison to the United States of America. When I talked about that, I was looking for how that works. What's invisible homelessness? Homelessness isn't just about the people that you see on the streets that have tattered clothing and sometimes are like visibly in a state of disarray. A lot of people that you encounter on a day to day basis, maybe in the service sector, maybe in general, could potentially be homeless, living out of their cars or couch surfing. It usually starts with couch surfing. Well, it ultimately starts with being priced out of the housing market. In Japan, it seems like there are, due to some social amenities like public bathrooms and whatnot, there are better opportunities to exist as like an invisible homeless person. This doesn't change the problem, obviously, because I've talked about it. Like, there is a housing issue in Japan, too. Here's a data graph annual working hours versus GDP per capita. United States' annual working hours is at almost 1,800, Japan's is lower. But still very high. There are plenty of houses in Japan outside of Tokyo. Issue is that most of the jobs are in Tokyo. Yes. There is always going to be a housing problem anywhere, as this chatter is correctly pointing out. Anywhere houses are considered an investment, you are always going to have a housing problem. Americans work longest hours among industrialized countries. Japanese is the second longest. Europeans work less time, but register faster productivity gains. In the new ILO, International Labor Organization statistical volume, highlights labor trends worldwide. This is from 1999. It's only gotten worse. That's why this is more、uh, significant. I mean, it stayed around the same. It says 1800. Oh, how? You work seven days a week or what? What do you mean? I work seven days a week. Chat, I clocked. How many thousands of hours did I clock? I mean, right now, right now, let's see. Year over year, you have seen、uh, how many hours I'm live. I usually average around 200 hours on camera. Oh, work a mega lol. I know, I know, I know. It's stupid. I know. I'm so stupid for even mentioning that as work. It's not. I'm a bad person. Yeah, 2,400 hours is my, my yearly. 2,400 hours is how many hours I, I am on camera, usually on average. That's, of course, without counting the podcast and other s that I do. But hey, listen. Anyway, also pointing out that Japan is a high. Rate due to overworking isn't a stereotype, it's a significant problem in there, in the US, and many hyper capitalist nations. True, that's fair. No, I just think, I, I think that assuming that Japan has a higher rate of and more, and Japanese people are more overworked than American people on average is the, the stereotype. Anyway, let's, let's continue watching this. The average age of homeless people hit a record 63.6 years old. そういった偏見が日本中にあって生活保護を受けなければ生きていけない人たちの中にもそれが刻み込まれているとその人が保護を受けてもやっぱり自分に対してね、まあ、自分のことをまあ、ね、ダメ出しをするわけですよねそういうねメンタルメンタリティーがあるからヒロユキは今日はインターネットカフェで生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きているので生きている Bro, I feel like Japanese people have also distorted themselves to be the perfect little warriors for capitalism, the capitalist project, too. Like that culture of, that culture of shame can,、uh, can, can cause it to operate, but it also has like,、uh, 
you know, this kind of impact too. And also it uh, leads to the inevitable, incredibly high. Yeah, Connor explained the internet cafe thing. Yeah, we talked about it. There's also a lot of people who are classified as homeless who live in uh, manga cafes. It's like, you can pay like 20 bucks and you get like a room and a TV and a shower for the night. And a lot of people live in those. There's tons, there's probably like five near us. They're really popular. Cause in Japan, obviously the big thing is that if you want to rent an apartment, you often have to pay like four or five months of rent upfront, which is like, crazy for a lot of people. Obviously, if you don't make a lot. And people don't make a lot in Japan. The salaries are not great. By the way, everything that he's talking about and his living conditions from the manga cafes that he can exist in where there's like internet and shelter for like super cheap pricing and also the food that is also super cheap and the fact that he can go to like public restrooms, be able to clean himself. These are all still incredibly but this is all part of the reason why homelessness can be so invisible in a place like Japan. No such thing obviously exists in the United States of America. Another comparison I'm making. This does not mean that it's good. I want to stress this point as I have time and time again, but I probably should stress it more frequently. Americans have no shame. No, America is a hyper individualistic culture. <laughs> Tanahashi has been doing outreach, but only if you accept help. In these decades, more and more people moving into Tokyo hoping that they'll get greater job prospects and higher pay, which is often the case actually. And I think this applies to pretty much any of the big cities. But this over concern Wait. actually. And I think this applies. The average monthly income in Tokyo about two thousand seven hundred eighty dollars. Pretty much any of the big cities, but this over concentration in Tokyo caused higher rent and made it even harder for people in poverty to find a place to live. Even though the government trying to disperse it, not many people willing to take it because again, there are not enough job opportunities in the countryside. While Tokyo at least has more jobs, housing requirements are still too high. Yo, this is straight up. That's low compared to like New York City. Yeah, that is insanely low for a big city, dude. What the? F this is Tokyo, chat. This is the New York. It's like San Francisco. Can you imagine living on? Holy sh It's also, they don't work 40 hour work weeks. Watch this video very critical as this guy talked about black people being naturally violent and stuff like that. Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> Everybody knows about this guy already? What the f The Japan reporter? I put you in the chart with other countries? What, what do you mean? We already did this. No, wrong guy, but he also makes similar content. Zoom out. That's crazy. Because that's a lie. You didn't put my hour, bro. I'd be up here, dude. I'd be like, in, I'm a, I'm over here working Indonesian hours, and you put me down here on this chart. I'm doing China hours. You put me down here, you asshole. Eeyou,構えるというのは不可能ですよね。うん、仕事があってま正社員になれないですよね。家がないとじゃあアルバイト日雇いの仕事ね。Luckily, does Japan have a drug problem like how some states in the U.S. has? I think that puts a critical role on homeless situations. No, it doesn't, dude. No. Great, great example. No, it doesn't have like the same drug problems that America has. But also, what the f do you mean? Some states in America have drug problems. What, what are you talking about? The Apple? I'm, I'm, a, I'm willing to bet some not talking about the Appalachian Mountains, okay? You know what he means when he says some states. He's talking about like... <laughs> anyway, listen. Ch chatter. I'm gonna clue you in on something. Drugs come after, okay? In most cases, it's not the drugs that cause homelessness. Drugs come after. Whether it's a black market way to make money on the side so you can like ensure survival or whether it is so that you can uh, run the top of the hour ad break and avoid the top of the hour ad break. 
by subscribing for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime, even though it came at seven twenty-two because I forgot to run it again. I'm on my eight hours. I've gone past my eight hours today, so you know I'm I'm a little. Hey, black market is a racist term. Why are people so funny? What what's going on? Oh brother, everybody loves making these jokes. Anyway, Angroro, thank you for the five get the subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Tacos should have kept you in Japan. It would have been sick if I did. Anyway, off for today. You thought that Domain Shadow was funny? No, I was being sarcastic. Listen, what I was saying, I've actually forgotten what I was saying. Tokyo has many internet cafes as alternative housing for people like Hiroyuki. And some organization provides you with housing support like a share house that you can use for free a few months. But still, Housing support is not nearly enough. You really think people get homeless first and then find drugs? I mean, in many instances, first of all, drugs are a permanent part of everyone's lives let's be real we're in america it's just like when rich people do it you don't really consider it that uh in the same way because like rich people can go to rehab easily rich people don't get criminalized for their drug usage they get it over the counter okay so that's number one it's america everyone's on uh, drugs but what i'm talking about is in many instances homelessness does not happen because someone has a drug addiction please this is a false narrative homelessness happens first and foremost primarily and in the overwhelming majority of cases due to being priced out of the housing market, okay? I was about to flame you, son. You really think people get homeless first and then find drugs? I guess there's a lot of both, but I guess I've seen the opposite mostly. Yes, you're looking at anecdotes. There is evidence on this. Like, you're, you're, you're looking at what you see on the streets, and what you see is, like, literally a person who has been homeless for many, many years at this point, way past the point of, like, pretty much no return, okay? And you're thinking, like, oh, this is how every homeless person is. That's why I said, for as many visible homeless people as there are, there are many, many more invisible homeless people, okay? Domestic violence is a leading cause of homelessness in women. Mental illness is a problem, too, but it's only exacerbated. Yeah, according to SAMHSA, 38% of homeless people abused alcohol, while 26% abused other drugs. From 2017, drug abusers are a minority of the homeless. And those people oftentimes, I mean, here, yeah, there you go. Homelessness, I've, I've covered this before. Homelessness in California, cause and policy considerations. California's homelessness crisis is associated with high housing costs, inadequate shelter spaces, deinstitutionalization, and changes in the criminal justice system. That's it. That's what it is. They do end up uh, becoming chronically homeless, okay? Like I said, like I call it tier three homelessness, where they do end up suffering from drug addiction and mental health problems, but that literally comes from being uh, from self-medicating for many, many years, being homeless many, many years, a lack of shelter is such a basic part of existence. Like, even animals need to sleep in a cave. You know what I mean? Even animals out in the wild need a goddamn roof over their heads. And you're over here looking at human beings who have none of that for many years, and they lose their minds as a, con as a consequence of that. That's why a lot of the most visible aspects of homeless people, the ones that, like, get in your way, I guess, are the ones that are, like, walking around in the middle of the street pushing a cart Th those guys are at the final stage of homelessness and if there is no way for a recovery if there's no way to help the the people in the tier one uh level of homelessness oftentimes that's where you get to the end stage years and years of sexual trauma abuse out in the streets violence robberies committed property theft you start selling drugs like there was a homeless encampment outside of my house uh, in another house that i uh lived in where remember they also like someone shat in a uh blanket basically and left it outside of uh, like left it on the sidewalk there were multiple instances of uh of, of fire bombings multiple instances of fire bombings another house clipped yeah of the encampment yes because they were selling drugs uh, uh, for for a lot of people for a lot of people they're doing whatever they can to survive and what they do in a lot of instances is just like either sell drugs or steal bikes and shit like that but when drugs are involved there's also constant fighting amongst other homeless encampments or fighting within the homeless encampment like one guy gets kicked out comes back with a it was probably the cops no man it wasn't the cops tone is i don't know this is not how you usually talk about this what do you mean? What tone? Yeah. Also, it's laughable to think that uh, cops need to firebomb a homeless encampment. And they can just beat the shit out of homeless people. And they do regularly and, and arrest them regularly.
Um, so the point is, when you're at that, you should be crying, bro. What does that take? What? I don't know. Listen, the point is, when it gets to that point, like, what I'm trying to say is, when it gets to that point, that's what you see. That's that's a, a devastating situation. Of course, uh, people that have been homeless for that long are going to have a litany of mental health complications. My take was based on anecdote. That's all I got in the circumstance. Yes. Yeah. Substance abuse and homelessness. And this is from the VA. Drug abuse comes after you're homeless. It's a way to self-medicate and it's a way to like try to make money. Anyway, so that was my perspective on it. I've been getting a lot of clips on TikTok about you debating Larry on homelessness. Comments are pretty positive too. Yeah, I've seen it. One of the funniest things is when people who don't know who I am turn around and 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 say, "Oh, uh, extremely rare Hasanabi W." I'm like, "Bro, like you just, I can't believe you just said extremely rare Hasanabi W." under a video of me literally debating on television a thing that I talk about all the time. Like, if that's a rare W, then, you know, you should probably watch a bit more of the stream. Or they'll they'll try to cope with it by saying, oh, dude, this is before, this is before Hassan got rich and, and bought a house. If he has, or if he has a mansion, he has a mansion, why doesn't he f house the homeless? Like, yeah, dude, one homeless person that I'm going to house is going to really fix the problem you replied to one saying this yeah i did i i replied to a, a an account i'm tired chat i'm gonna i'm gonna end it here i'm really tired i'm quiet quitting yeah even if i i saw a comment where they said they used to like you before you went too far left yeah i saw that comment too you're talking about me advocating for trans issues right ooh, ooh, ooh. please take the public transit next time you want to travel Anywhere else in Japan? Ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. I love thinking about the the subway station. It makes me feel so good. Are you, you all right? <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Did you hear that? Who was saying that? That was crazy. <laughs> Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>